Well, hello everybody. It's the calm before the storm in Florida, buddy. Oh my goodness. We have blue skies in paradise. We made a shorty this morning of George and the ducky swimming at 28 degrees. Limu and Emu, the happy dancers, are here. They're chilling out right there. Everybody's hanging out and relaxed here, but in Florida, they are busy, busy, busy. We are going to keep all of you in our thoughts and prayers. This is going to be a rough one. I hope everybody understands they have just published the storm surge predictions. I've been watching the news. Things have changed a lot since I went through hurricanes in Florida. <laughs> Cell phones being one of them. Communication back then was battery-powered radios using the old D-cell batteries. They now have really nice LED lights which don't consume a lot of juice. They're good for 18 hours on a charge. And they put out a lot of light. Back in the old days, we used candles and oil lamps and stuff to get light. And the house smelled like kerosene. Yeah. Anyway, I hope everybody is. Unless they're on city water supply. If you're on a well, fill up your bathtub and get a bucket so you can flush the toilet. Back when we were doing hurricanes in Florida we'd even fill up the airboat with a water hose we'd take them off the trailer and set them flat on the ground and fill them full of water number one to keep <laughs> keep the hurricane from blowing the airboat out of the yard and then after the hurricane went by we could dip water out of the airboat to go in the house to flush the toilets yeah anyway it's gonna be a mess I hate to be the bearer of <laughs> gloom and doom that's not my intent my intent is to give you the boy scout be prepared motto <laughs> yeah betsy or not betsy but deborah remy boy's mom says she lives on the second floor which that puts her up maybe out of flood stage but on the second floor there's a roof above her and if it springs a leak if it blows shingles off of it or opens up a spot in the roof she can have rain pouring in the house and i said try to get some plastic sheeting ready to go garbage cans and buckets totes or anything you can get that would hold water in case that happens during the storm, stopping <laughs> a flood from soaking the carpets and the beds and everything you got to live on for the next couple of weeks until you get electricity back, which it is going to be gone. Yep, my son's neighborhood is on underground utilities, but at some point he'll lose power too. Being a contractor, he's got all kinds of LED lighting that he uses and generators and stuff like that so he's in good shape deborah jenkins is right outside of kissimmee the storm is a coming and it's going to be moving slow it's going to take 12 hours to cross <laughs> when the leading edge hits tampa it's going to be 12 hours before the leading edge gets to daytona which means that by the time the trailing edge crosses all the way across and out onto the Atlantic. You guys are looking at 24 hours of solid wind and rain. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be airboat heaven. <laughs> yeah. And be prepared for another thing. After the storm, it's emergency vehicles only. There's not going to be any travel to go rescue your in-laws or anybody. Yeah, they stop all the traffic. If you could even find gas to go somewhere, yeah, it's going to be a mess. Anyway, God bless you all. 
We got blue skies. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous morning. What do you say, George? <coughs> George is just hanging out here next to Daddy. Yes. He's a goofy duck. Yeah. Anyway, everybody's been fed. Yup. I've done all my chores. I thank the Lord that I lived in North Carolina before moving to Wisconsin. I was from Florida. Everything's hustle bustle. Everybody's in a hurry to get everywhere. Everybody's in a hurry to get things done. Well, I'm still hyperactive. That's not gone. But I've learned how to pick my battles and slow down enough in my expectations of what I can get done. I still, oh, and a big bird from Goofy Duck. Yeah. I remember when I first moved to North Carolina and I'd be standing in a line at the grocery store and somebody from New York would be standing in the line behind me and the cashier's talking to the guy that's in front of her checking out and they're talking about their tomato plants and the person from New York is going berserk like come on let's go yeah well that's <laughs> I live 35 miles uphill out of Asheville up there in Waynesville and it was a long twisty road going downhill to go to work every day and when you're behind somebody that's from North Carolina and they're going 30 miles an hour and you're going, come on, dude, I got places to go. That person's not in a rush. They're not going to die of a heart attack. Yeah, they'll get where they're going. Yeah, you're just going to have to follow them because there's no place to pass. Not coming down out of that mountain, huh, George? You bet. Anyway. It took me a long time to figure that out. Oh, and another big bird from Goofy Duck. Thank you, George. Yeah, it took me a long time to get the hustle bustle figured out. Anyway, love you all. God bless each and every one of you. Deborah, everybody down there. Yeah, you're in our thoughts and prayers. Stay in touch with us. Send us updates when you can. And by the way, they do have great big batteries, bigger than your cell phone, that you can plug into your cell phone in case you don't have power to charge it up. Yeah, those things will last for a couple of days on a cell phone. Yeah, I got one. Just in case we get snow in the wintertime, huh, George? Yep, George and the duckies were swimming first thing this morning, huh, George? Yep, and he was talking to his mama. They had a big, long conversation. She has a neighbor that's hyperactive, just like me, and about the same age. And she said that guy was supposed to go in for an operation this morning. And I was talking to her on the phone. All of a sudden, she goes, I got to go. Call me back. And I called her back a little while later, and she goes, it was that neighbor. He was supposed to have an operation. She said he was on the table, and they were getting ready to put him under. And they realized his blood pressure wasn't good enough. So they canceled his operation. He came home and went to work. <laughs> they rescheduled his operation for two weeks from now. And she said he's out there in the yard working. Yep, she saw him and ran out to find out what in the heck happened. What do you say, George? Jenny's just chilling out, sitting in the leaves over here. Hi, Jenny. Well, we're so happy to have her home. Anyway, I took a lot of pictures this morning of George doing big birds out here by the creek. Yeah, we were talking to his mom on the phone. I was sending her pictures while we were standing there. And I've got some beautiful pictures of this morning at 28 degrees. Yeah. And I said we were going to warm up. Look at that, by golly. Yeah. I got a thermometer I can see now. Yep. I said we're going to get 60 degrees, and there you go. George. 
You want to say I love you to anybody? Huh? Yeah. Say I love you, mommy. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, I'm going to shut this down and upload it for you. I got things to do. Anyway, God bless you all. Stay safe. Wash your flippers off and have a wonderful Wednesday. God bless all of our friends and family in Florida. Love you, bye.